Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you guys how I built my van to take my bike to the track and also to sleep on it and have my tools ready to go and all the things that I would need and in case I need on the track. So this is my van. It, it is a 2002 Ford Transit, uh, medium roof. When I got this van, I didn't have any panels on it. So what I've done was I did trace all the cuttings on the doors and on the walls and everything so I could get some plywood and then cut it on shape but before cutting everything I did buy some insulation and then put a, where I would be under the panels not the most effective insulation was the kind of a cheapest one just to get me going but I plan on rebuilding this van later on to have a proper setup proper bed and cabinet and everything and would install a solar panel with with like batteries and lighting but this is just to get me going for now because I had a trailer and then uh, I was using my trailer to go to the track but I had to sleep on my car or sometimes sleep in a dodgy place so I decided to get a van that I would be able to sleep inside the track closed gates and then wake up fresh and just hit the track let's start with the door panel so well, I had a plywood and then I did cut into shape. So I've got a kind of a foam and then molded to cut the plywood on top of. So I've got the nice edge shape and this is like industrial carpet, carpet, industrial carpet. So it is resistant. So I can just like scrub it and doesn't get really dirty. Under this panel here, I've got some insulation as well. So yeah, getting inside the van. Here I have my suit. When I'm in transport mode, I just hang it in there. But when I get in the track, I put it here, take off this plastic that covers it, just so don't get dirty. In here, under my suit, I have my, my petrol. So I have a few gallons here inside the van I will show you later. Let's talk about the basics first. So here you can see that I didn't cover in carpet because I'm planning on getting something going from the bottom all the way to the top kind of adding some shelves here but this is the second part of my van build this time is just to get me going again I've got this ramp here which is using like those kind of bike racks and stuff so I put the ramp here and put this kind of tied down just to prevent it from moving towards the bike and scratch the bike in here it's already insulated I have to put the foam here I didn't put it yet because I might build everything here I don't know what I'm gonna do but yeah uh, floor so this floor here I did remove the original one and I did put some insulation kind of like a strips under it just to get a little bit insulation on the floor this is an industrial ply but it's like a marine resistant so it doesn't get mold and stuff and then I did lay, lay like a, a rub a carpet on top of this floor and in here where the bike goes it's like a rubber mat so if I spill oil or coolant or whatever from the bike it's gonna be here also it's easier to clean because every time for example now I didn't clean but I did kind of a clean but <laughs> anyway but the bike stays here when I take it out I just wipe it or just vacuum or just scrub everything and it's ready to go so just to make it nice I did add some aluminum trimmings here all the way on the edge there and this is my pitbull so I've got this from USA from pitbull and this is the restraint system so basically those two pins here they goes in the bike in the ex rear axle and then it stays something like that on the bike I'm gonna post some photos afterwards but and then when you unload a loaded bike you just take this safety pin nah one handed this kind of cool you take this undo this undo the other side and just drag the bike and it's easy so no stroppings no like bungees nothing that is really easy the, pro the only problem that I find uh, on this van here particularly is to get the bike aligned because sometimes the bike is a bit tilted this way or that way so those two hooking points here they don't actually grab and bite nicely so I have to adjust the bike on the go 
but well this is something that i have to learn cool moving on roof is not done yet i've started to do the insulation on it but just to kind of feel the grooves there but i will put another one on top uh, under it uh, on top i will I'll put another one there just to make it nice and then i will have a plywood or something like that like a band ply just to finish it nicely but i i don't know what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna take it to planning again and project so then i can do something better next time this cabinet here this is from a like a kind of furniture shop here in auckland the guy was actually giving it away so he, he didn't have a use for that so i grabbed from him and i did cut inside here you can see that this is the the wheel cover there so i i did cut it on a shape and fit nicely and this is both to the to the floor like here and another one there and another two under the bed i will show you later so yeah this is the the rear end of the rear part of the van so you can see here let's move to the cabinets now as we were talking about it on top of the cabinet i've got this rubber as well not in the same shape as the, the floor because this one here prevents my tools from sliding you know like it has like this cool and uh, cool rubber here that is really sticky and doesn't let anything flow around float around uh, this cabinet here i use to get my tools toolbox all the stuff i don't have everything here now but just to give you an idea tie warmers toolbox there uh, here is usually where i put my helmet gloves this is my air compressor slash uh, jumper start kit here's where uh, some power leads all those stuff and yeah so ah everything here has magnets on it so you lock you lock and then you lock cool uh moving here this is the fun part i was trying to get some type of bed so i could sleep on this van just to get me going i didn't make anything fancy just something functional that could could be used as a bed before i get a nice project going on so this is the bed frame where i was uh, i built it trying to utilize as much space as possible without getting on the way where i was well, when i was loading the bike from here so what i've done was i did build an l-shaped bed and i have this this plywood here that i attach i put on top and attach here fix here and there to prevent from moving but when i'm driving it doesn't move at all so you can see that is here i have my mattress there and everything is both through the floor and also this part here is, is both in the cabinet as well i made this kind of frame for the fridge which is not powered yet so i have to run some uh, some cables from my solar panel that i will buy later on and then i put some batteries down there somewhere but for now what i, what I have here i do carry my table my chairs uh, here usually stays my spare parts like levers uh, uh, sprockets chain all those those things that might break in case of a crash and i want to get back there so i will have a lot of spare parts here under the bed so and there i have another uh petrol can just in case here is like a kind of empty space for now i just carry my, my water bottles just like fill it up before going to the track and put on the fridge but i guess this is where in that corner is where my battery is gonna go all the electrical system but don't know yet so here's my fridge so this fridge here when i get in the track or when i get on a power source i just plug it in and it gets really cold it's really cool my idea is to to build something on top i don't know yet but yeah that's it when i'm when i sleep on this bed what i do is i put this mattress in here and i sleep on a diagonal it's like two meters it doesn't look like but yeah it is two meters yeah. here is where i put all my my clothes my uh shower stuff 
my uh, bedding stuff, towels, everything. I don't know what I'm gonna do afterwards, but the plan here is just to have a storage area, a storage compartment here. When you have your bike in here and everything ready to go, it gets really tight. So I have to plan a lot like where we put stuff and it's really like tricky. But well, it does the job, it gets me going. And well, I will build this again. I will kind of do a version two of this van, but this was just to get me going. And it does the job really, really nice. The van drives perfectly and is not that heavy, even with the bike inside. I'm really happy with that. It was actually my first big project. It's not really a project, but for me that I had no skills at all, like I still don't have skills. This was an amazing, then the result came out really, really nice. Cool guys, thanks for watching and welcome to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. I will be happy to answer all of your questions and I will be bringing more content like that. But yeah, we're gonna go to the track maybe next weekend. So I will take you guys with me and looking forward for the build version two of this van when I have more time to be able to kind of plan and project everything kind of better. That's it, cool, cheers.